Okay, today we're doing something fun. A Rubik's Cube nail art in a commemoration for their 40th anniversary. I used to cheat. I, I confess, I used to cheat. Let's get into it. I hope you like it. Okay, so to start with, you want to paint your nails all black. I use Man Glazer's Matte is Murder, which is one of my favourite blacks. Now I'm also using Sally Hansen's Big Shiny Top Coat over the top of that. And then I'm using Stick Me Nails Straight Stickers so that I can create the black lines between the colours for the Rubik's Cube. Now because I'm doing quite large squares for the Rubik's Cube colours, I'm only going to place four of these stickers on my nails. They're not very long anymore, so I only need four. If your nails are longer, you might need more, or you can also use nail striping tape for this, but these stickers just give you the right amount of black stripes between the colours. Now I know a lot of people might think this is an awful lot of steps to go through just to get Rubik's Cube nails. However, if you're not really great at using nail stripers or nail art pens like the Sally Hansen ones, which I'm not, uh, this is actually probably a really good alternative, or at least that's my opinion. Uh, you can make up your own mind, of course. I only did it on two nails, so it really didn't take that long. Now once you have your sticky guides down over your black, what you want is a white polish. I'm using Chi Chi's Single White Female. I'm going to paint a thin coat, not, it's not going to be completely opaque, it's just a thin coat of white polish over the top of that, which will help my colours to pop. If you don't do that, the colour strength won't be very good and, and it probably won't look as beautifully bright as a Rubik's Cube. Don't forget to take your stickers off straight away before the polish is dried. Now for the colours, I'm using all Shishi polishes. I'm using Boom 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 for the yellow. And then for the red, I'm using Say My Name. For the green, I'm using Show Me The Money. And finally for the blue, I'm using He So Fly. Now it is pronounced Shishi, not Chi Chi. I've gotten that wrong in the past, but I'm fixing it now. <laughs> Okay, so once, once you've got all of your colours set and you've got them all, all your bottles open, what you need to do is get a detail brush and start painting the squares the colours of the Rubik's Cube. Now depending on the polish you may have to go back in a second time just to get all of your edges cleaned up and to make sure that the colours are completely opaque. Now as per usual, once you've finished your design, seal it with a good quality top coat. I always use Sesh Feet, I mean always. I've tried other top coats, but this one is the one I always come back to. I will put a link down in the description box to where I get mine from. Uh, you won't regret it, you really won't. It is such a good top coat. And that's it, I really hope you like this one. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to use Tan look hashtag on Instagram so I can see your create recreations. That'd be great. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Oh, and thank you very much for subscribing. Bye, Tiki.